with all his long hair, but those bass lines were something else that night. And uh, I mean, talk about that was that they were the closing band for that show in Giant Stadium. You had Poco, they started out with Poco, Todd Rundgren. Um, oh shit, I can't remember. Foreigner, I think Foreigner was on that bill. I'm too. not sure myself. Uh, uh, no, the Cars for some reason. So Poco, Poco, Todd Rundgren, the Cars, and then Boston. Talk about a talk about a very interesting night. How well do you know? Hey, I got a question. I got a yeah. question for you, Paul. Mm-hmm. How many of the people that you just mentioned and that you've been mentioning all day are in the freaking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? You know, we're coming Zero. out. We're weeks away. <laughs> we're no. weeks away. I left. Uh, and by the way, if anybody's mentioned anything in the comments, I'm set up. I don't see the comments. So, uh, but uh, here we are. We're weeks away, and we get clowns. Like Mary J. Bills, Blythe, Blythe know, Bills, yeah. whatever her name is, uh, uh, good singer. Uh, and uh, uh, once again, I have no problem with these people as artists. Right. But it's time, and I'm doing everything on my channel uh, uh, to to get something going from a grassroots type of thing. It's time to destroy this thing. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. Great art, great of, art really. often comes from destruction, you know. And so, if you're talking about destruction, all I can tell you is, brother, you can count me out when it comes to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can count me in. I'm just like John Lennon. I'm of two minds, right? Uh, uh, you know, uh, Jan Winner has destroyed the thing that he helped create. Oh, shame what him. a freaking ego that man has on him and yes. uh, what he said about black artists and women artists in his books the man should be canceled by this group of cancelers because that's yeah. all they're good at right the rock and roll hall of fame needs to freaking uh uh fire every damn person that's on their nomination committee and everything you know they what they've done with um uh foreigner uh this year this is an apology and nothing more than a freaking apology and it's not even a real apology what they're doing is they're distancing themselves from yet another clown who has done nothing but cancel true rock and rollers his entire freaking career that man tried to paul mccartney in the ass and uh, sorry paul but he did you know what that man sat there and for years on john's lap going oh yes and what else do you have to say bad about paul you know what in rolling stone they were going to give paul mccartney's ram album a good review he put a kibosh on that and told the writer to make it a bad review that Mm. album for decades all the monkeys in the zoo all sat around saying oh yes that's a horrible album now you know for the last 15 20 years though those same freaking monkeys are all claiming out of the woodwork how great of an album that was and i knew it was an album that was fantastic when i was 15 when i freaking bought it that man is bad news that organization is bad news it's time to take it back people now for all you you people out there that are saying things like it's just a television show and oh they should just change it to uh the music uh hall of fame bullshit bullshit the rock and roll hall of fame the name belongs to us it doesn't belong to young winner it doesn't belong to them and it's time we freaking take it back sorry go ahead let me just say one thing this is the thing that the rock and roll fame is unforgivable for in my mind what they did to raymond thomas from the moody blues the guy was Uh, fed and he couldn't even make it they should have been before bon jovi before green day before red hot chili peppers they should have been in before half of these bands literally uh uh, the guess who still uh waiting they're never going to get in 
Neither will Bachman Turner Overdrive. There's like definitely never going to get in. Some of these yeah. groups will never get in, but they're going to put in bands, Madonna. They're going to put in some of these acts that will never, we will never recognize as rock and roll. Oh, and- no, no, no. I, another one, uh, Melody. What about, uh, and now I'm stepping into, ooh, territories, but I don't care. I don't <laughs> freaking care. I'll step into any freaking territory I want. What about, uh, oh, God, what's that? Oh, I just did a video on him. I, I, I spent a whole afternoon listening to Mary J. Uh, uh, Blige and uh, what's the, the rap? Uh, they're actually hip hop jazz that's oh, being wow. nominated. Uh, and everybody's going, well, no, they're kind of like hip hop rock. Bullshit if they are. They are not. Okay. Uh, we don't put even, baseball players in the boxing hall of fame, and we don't put football players in the hockey hall. Amen. A freaking man. All right. And and everybody goes, oh, oh, Michael's on it too much. Michael, you know what, Michael? You know, you need to give it up. It's just what it is. Accept it for what it is. Bullshit, if I will. We're talking about the greatest art form created in the 20th century, barely beating out the blues because the blues. Became rock and roll, okay. Yeah. All right, created by and, black people, and and, and hip hop and rap are about as blues oriented as my aunt Petunia. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you why uh, hip hop and rap have no connection to rock and roll, and blues does. Blues came out of the fields. Blues came out of forced labor. Blues came out of a whip to the back okay and all of these inner city nimrods with their beat boxes and their uh techno let's drop a and i've done tons of recordings with uh drum loops and shit like that so i know what i'm talking about i am a uh, uh an engineer a recording engineer I am a musician. I am a singer, songwriter. Yeah, Michael. And none of them know Michael. what the f- they're talking about. None of them. You know, this is our art form. All right. The reason you showed up on this stream is because you guys love rock and roll. And we've yeah. spent, yeah. and Paul has spent all afternoon talking about people who have been dissed by this this moronic thing we call the rock and roll hall of fame young winner young winner if for some strange reason you came across this because you heard about this all i can say is you are a chump you have always been a freaking chump nobody has ever taken you seriously and make up your mind about what is rock and roll you asshole yeah you know yeah I have people like Neil Sedaka, Connie Francis, people, uh, Johnny Maestro, um, people that really should have been there. It literally, Johnny Maestro died. The Crest, 16 Candles, belonged yeah. for a Hall of Fame. They made a movie with that title. I mean, that song has lived through ages. Yeah. yeah. Here's an alleged story. Okay, so I can tell you one of the members on the nominating board for sure. That much I can tell you. And that would be Steve Van Zandt mm. from, from Springsteen, Sopranos, all that stuff. He was asked. Now. Yeah, he was asked. Why? Okay, here we go. We go. It all comes back to this. Why were the monkeys never put in the Hall of Fame? Right. This was what he said. Quote. Oh. Alleged. Quote. Jan. Jan. Whatever we call him. Yeah. Said, if I let the monkeys in, then I have to let everybody else. You Partridge already family, do. Cow you sills. already no, do. No, but these are, he goes, Partridge family, cow sills, yes. Ohio Express, and I'm going so. Well, the Partridge family is more rock and roll than Mary J. Bryce. Yes. And run DMC. Okay. Run. Yeah. I can stomach yeah. David Cassidy posthumously being induct now there's a lot of pop uh, like uh cool in the game yeah not rock and roll they made yeah. most of their their uh, biggest yeah. hits during the disco era and i hate disco Same uh, thing that doesn't singer. mean that there's not good disco songs okay right. so don't don't start catching me on that oh well what about this one and what about that one 
you know, settle down. All right, there's room for pop acts that have a connection either by their sound. And by the way, Cool and the Gang, listen to the soundtrack. There's drums, there's bass, there's guitar. All right. All right. So they cool. didn't go, all of a sudden start dropping in tons of uh, fake crap and stuff into their music to all of a sudden make sense. Okay. So uh, there's room for uh, hell. There's room for, um, oh God, what's her name? Do you know the way to San Jose? She's not very rock and roll, but her songs were played right next to, you know, Led Zeppelin. So yes, there is a, a connection there, but these hip hop, and rap artist LL Cool J, uh, oh. you know, uh, take your initials and shove yeah, them, dude. Sure. <laughs> You're not in our group. You're not yeah. in our club. Yeah. Go you away. Collect. Cool. You know what? Start your own damn hip hop hall of fame, rap hall of fame, and yeah. go to it. Yeah. You and know, kudos to Dolly Parton. Honestly, she actually felt awkward. Right, to be nominated at the Rock and Roll of Fame, saying I don't even feel like I should be here. She's one of the only ones to actually right. r- recognize this I- idiocy, like like men and women's sports. It's like the same kind of thing to me. Really, well, is. Melody, uh, the first video I ever did—it's it, over two years old now—on uh, the Rock and Roll was- Hall of Fame was on Dolly Parton, and my first video was that she was, you know, she said no, and I praised her. Yes. Uh, her decision right, right and left a week less than a week later I was on another video saying what a nimrod she is yeah. because I, I and then when I started looking at this think about how fast that album melody was uh, recorded and how many songs are on that that album was started before she even said I don't think I belong. It was all a freaking ploy. Look back on all the videos. It's so, uh, it's so freaking obvious. Now I love the Dolly Parton. Look at her, I'm look a, at her on the Super Bowl. The fruits yeah. of, uh, you know, that was ridiculous. Honestly, I, right. she's like an eighty-year-old woman. I know you want to look good and stuff, but you know, just oh, trying for to- for her age, she's still sexy as hell. She's she still uh, very, very talented. One of my favorite songwriters in music Absolutely. but she don't belong here get out right. go away yeah. uh dolly trust your common sense that you had to begin with if you ever did because i doubt i think it was all a setup i yeah, think her right. uh, right. uh you know saying oh no oh oh no not little old me well right. i couldn't i couldn't be bothered with such a mm-hmm. with such an honor mm-hmm. 